Hi, and welcome to a preview of, we, of week six of U.S. history. So in the coming week, we will be looking at several topics. We have several objectives to cover. We will begin uh, in the talking about the events leading up to the War of 1812. The War of 1812, often called the Second War of Independence, had its roots in several significant events. One of the primary grievances was British impressment of American sailors. This is where British naval forces forcibly conscripted or took over American sailors and forced them into service. This practice deeply angered Americans and created tensions between the two nations. Additionally, Britain's interference with American trade, especially through the orders in, uh, in council and the blockade of European ports, further strained relations. Moreover, the British maintained alliances with Native American tribes in the Northwest Territory, which we spoke about last week, arming and supporting them in resisting American expansion. These actions collectively outraged a group of young nationalist politicians known as the War Hawks, led by figures like Henry, Henry Clay and John Calhoun. They called for war as a means of defending American honor, protecting American interests, and expanding the nation's territory. Now, the War of 1812 was marked by several pivotal battles and conflicts. Early in the war, American forces attempted to invade Canada, but faced significant challenges. One notable engagement was the Battle of Lake Erie in 1813, where Commodore Oliver Hazard Perry's victory secured control over the Great Lakes for the United States. This was a strategic triumph that helped shift the tide of the war. Another critical event was the burning of Washington, D.C. Uh, in 1814. This is when British forces captured the nation's capital and set fire to several government buildings, including the White House and the Capitol, the Capitol being Congress. Despite the setback, the war ended on a high note for the United States with the Battle of New Orleans in 1815 where General Andrew Jackson achieved a resounding victory over British forces. This battle is celebrated for its symbolic significance as it occurred after the signing of the Treaty of Ghent, officially ending the war. So let's talk a, bit, a little bit about the significance of the War of 1812. So the War of 1812 holds immense significance in American history. Firstly, it affirmed the nation's independence from Britain further solidifying American sovereignty or right to self-rule and national identity. It was a crucial test of the young nation's ability to defend itself against a world power. Additionally, the war resulted in the end of Native American resistance in the Northwest Territory, effectively opening up vast lands for American settlement and westward expansion. Furthermore, the war had economic repercussions the British blockade had stifled American trade, leading to the growth of domestic industries as a response, enhancing the nation's economic self-reliance. So all of this um, led and went on into the early 1800s. And in the early 1800s, some of you might know from World History II last year, this was the beginning, the roots of the Industrial Revolution. And more specifically, uh, in the U.S., it was a transportation type of revolution. So the early 1800s saw the Transportation Revolution, a transformative period in American history. One of its hallmark achievements was the construction of the Erie Canal, connecting the Great Lakes to the Hudson River and facilitating trade and economic growth. Roads and turnpikes were also expanded and improved, enhancing land travel. Moreover, moreover, the advent of steamboats revolutionized river transportation, making it faster and more reliable. These developments not only promoted westward expansion, but also spurred economic development by connecting different regions of the country and fostering trade. So I look forward 
to I hope this was helpful and I look forward to working with you all next week. I look forward to your thoughts, to your ideas, and to your questions as well. So thank you and I'll see you soon.